let's go. Well, first of all, Donovan, thanks for thanks for joining us. Let's just reflect uh, as a player for, from the weekend, encouraging. But I suppose at the end of the day, you're reflecting on disappointment. There wasn't three points. Yeah, it, obviously, at the end of the day, there's a, there was an air of frustration uh, from being 2 0 up and being so dominant in the game um, to drawing the game in the end. Kind of felt like a loss, but we got to take the positives and. We're, we're building on something here. From the Swindon game, we've sat down, we spoke, and we're we're building a run, and we believe we could put together a good few runs. You're right in the mix, aren't you? With you're one of probably ten or twelve clubs that are trying to get to the the top six positions. You know, here you come into the first days of March. It's a good position that you're still in, and you find yourselves. Yeah, hundred percent. It is compact at the moment. There's a lot of good clubs. Um, but I feel like we're, we're finding form and consistency at the right time. Yeah, as we said, there's a bit of frustration from um, Saturday, but we just got to build on it. And momentum is what will take us to where we need to be come the end of the season. As a player yourself, do you assess it and look at the fixtures that you're playing and uh, coming up? What I'm trying to get to is you've just played Accrington and you've just played Sunderland. Now coming up are the Blackpools, the Lincolns and the Doncasters, all teams around you. Or is it just a, a matter of you focusing on one game? Um, we've, we sat down as a, as a group uh, after the Swindon game and assessed where we were and what we've achieved thus far this season and what we had ahead of us. And we made a plan and we we know what we need to do to achieve the ultimate goal, which is get into them playoffs and push on and get up to the championship. I know you won't reveal too much about it then, but are you on course? Yes or no? Well, from the Swindon game, um, with the two games we've just played against two playoff place teams, I would say we're on course, yeah? Now then, let's talk about you on a personal note. It has been capital F. Very frustrating for you. Wigan, I think October, yeah. trying to make your way as a crew player, out injured for a long spell. But fingers crossed, touch wood and all that, you're back. Yeah, it was highly frustrating. I've listen, I've been there before. I've I've been knocked back by injuries, which isn't nice. It kind of it knocks your confidence, it knocks your focus. But since I've come to crew, everybody's just been warm and welcoming and, and and loving to me and it's helped me get back on the pitch as quick as I can, as fit as I've ever been um, and just trying to contribute to the way this team plays uh, with all the information the gaffer and, and Kenny gives me and, and I've enjoyed it. Even when I was out injured, I enjoyed being there. The good thing for your, for your place as well is you can play across the back and you've gone in it at right back at the moment, most of your career, of course, has been the central defender. But in at right back, at a time when the managers just tinkered with the system as well, playing with the, the two big lads up front. Seems as though it's suiting everybody. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed having the, the two lads up front, Mika and Ports. They've, they've added something to the way we're playing. They, they, they allow us to stretch teams and keep a higher line. You've got Mika that will run in behind and Ports that will be physical. Um, and it's allowed us to kind of be a bit more composed in possession, I would say, and not be scared to hit it long if we're under pressure. And the one thing about crew is a lot of teams, when they do play with two big guys up front, they might go route one and launch it. But that's not the case with crew, is it? It's still play through and still be creative for more... Yeah, we're we're not a team that uh, play what would you would say direct or one 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 way and that's long ball. We we like to mix it up, but more so we like to keep the ball on the floor. And and I felt like we did that really well uh, against Sunderland the weekend just gone. Um, we had ample opportunities to score many goals, um, but we just got to we just got to keep doing it and and. 
obviously tomorrow's game, Tuesday's game is going to be another opportunity for us to flex our muscle and and give Blackpool a good goal. Well, fingers crossed you'll be flexing your muscles again. You've also rested as well and played in the Championship area with them as well. It's it's a club that's had its problems, hasn't it? But for their sakes, fingers crossed for them, they seem as though they've got some stability. And of course, Neil Critchley is well known to everybody at Crew because he was a part of the big academy set up down there before he went to Liverpool and then became the manager. Yeah, obviously Blackpool's done extremely well. Obviously, new manager, new owner, uh, a whole new squad since I was last there. Uh, it's a club that I, I really love. I've been there twice over and, and I've enjoyed it. Um, but I'm at crew now and I'm enjoying it now here. And this is an opportunity for this group of lads, uh, the experienced ones, the young ones, to, to just really go out and try how good we are because we're a really good team.